Hey, welcome back. I thought I'd talk about SWR, um, how to set it, how to check it, and what it means. Uh, just try and give a little better understanding of it. I've watched videos on YouTube, and some of them are just so misleading. Uh, some of them are very vague, and some of them are just downright confusing. So I thought I'd sim try and simplify it a little bit and give you my understanding of SWR. Uh, the SWR is a standing wave ratio and what my understanding is is the SWR if you have a high SWR a lot of your signal is not making it out of the antenna it's bouncing back to the transmitter um, the transmitter can tolerate some of it coming back but not a lot of it when you have a lot of it that's too much power being bounced back at the final and that's what causes the finals to get damaged so now we'll talk about setting the meter. If you put it on set or forward, uh, I'm going to show you with the power and without power. And I'll explain it to you after I shut off the power. So we're going to turn the needle all the way down. Uh, turn your microphone gain all the way down. If you don't have mic gain, turn your gain on your microphone all the way down. If you don't have either one of those, shh, just be really quiet. All right, you don't want the radio to get any modulation while you're checking. All right, I'm going to key the mic, and I'm going to set that meter. Now, the meters on the far right-hand side of the meter, there's a set line. And what you do is you turn your knob until the needle sits on that set line. Now, I always unkey the mic after I do that because you're breaking connection inside of this switch box when you switch it. So why torment your finals? So on key, switch it to either reflected or SWR, depending on what your meter says. I key the mic again, and that's your reading. With the amp on, I'm getting 1.2 to 1, 140. All right, now I'm going to shut the amplifier off and show you. We'll put the meter back on set. Now, without having as much power, that needle is barely going up. So I need to calibrate the meter to the output power of the transmitter. So we'll turn it until that needle is back at set. And then put the switch on reflected or SWR, depending on what your meter says. And it's saying about 1.1 to 1. So my SWR is a little higher with the amp on. That's typical. It happens with almost all antennas. Um, with power under 500 watts, if your SWR is below 1.5, you're good. Don't worry about it. You're not going to damage anything. So after you've checked it on either 40 or 1, then switch and check the other. Now we'll put that up. We need to adjust just a little bit. We'll check the SWR, and it's 1.1 to 1. Uh, actually, that's pretty flat right across. Now, if your SWR is higher on channel 40, this is okay, don't worry about it. You can trim that antenna or adjust it to make the antenna shorter. And that will bring your SWR closer together on 40 and on 1. If your SWR is higher on 1, well then you have some issues. Um, you can't make the antenna longer mo in most cases. Uh, Antrons, uh, PAT-12s, a lot of mobile antennas have uh, the set screw so you can adjust the height of it. Uh, some of them will give you enough adjustment to get more height out of it. So if you're higher on 1, you need to make the antenna longer. If you're higher on 40, you need to make your antenna shorter. Now, if you, now keep this in mind too, if your SWR is sky high, uh, check your antenna. You might have to do a little bit of math. It may be way too long. Uh, if it's higher on 40, it's scary to do it, but check it with a, a crappy radio. I keep a crappy one around just in case. Um, check your rest of you are on channel 1 and on channel 40. If you're like, we'll say 3 to 1 on channel 1, but 3.5 to 1 on channel 40, make that antenna shorter because both of those numbers will most likely come down uh, to a more acceptable level and then you just keep coming down until they're as close together as they can be. So that's my understanding of SWR. That's how you set the meter, why you have to calibrate the meter, and the reason why it's important, why SWR is important, 
because a high SWR means power is bouncing back to the radio. You don't want any of that power coming back in. We want it all going out to the antenna. See ya out there in DX land or your locals. Don't come back into my own radio. <laughs> all right. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped. And let me know in the comments if you thought this was useful or beneficial to you. All right. 73s for now.